Sometimes when you're building an object, you will take advantage of the multiple layers and you can break up one object into multiple layers which can make it easier for selection and manipulation of the geometry. But there are a couple other ways that you can go about working with this. I'm going to select all these. If you have uh, several layers and you want them in one layer, just cut, pick the layer you want it in, paste, and now you have one layer instead of multiple layers. So say you wanted to work on an element uh, on your object but you didn't want to affect other elements, you just wanted to make it easier. So say we wanted to work on these gloves. So I'm going to select uh, one polygon on each glove, use select connect, select connected, and I have that selected. And say I don't want to affect anything else, well nothing else will be affected because the only thing I have selected is that geometry. But say you don't even want to see the other geometry, we can go over to the view tab and under view down here on, on the bottom of the toolbar we can hide selected but we want to work on the glove so we're going to hide unselected. Okay. Now it's still there but it won't be affected by any of the tools. Okay. And this can be a way to isolate the area that you want to work on. Okay, I'm going to unhide with this button right here, and I'm going to select, uh, say, the pants, okay, and I want to hide everything but the pants, so I'll hide unselected, okay, and then I'll unhide, and then say I want to um, just hide the character itself, hide selected and then I'm going to unhide. If I wanted to, I could select, say, the gloves and hide selected. I can just go and hide invert and it will hide everything but the gloves. Okay, so I can I can toggle between what is hidden. Okay, and I'll always want to remember to unhide. Now, you want to be careful about using certain tools um, that if the geometry, if I were to say hide this polygon right here, so if I were to hide selected and I were to start adjusting this point, we have to remember that this point of this polygon right here, okay, is connected to this so that's going to be affected. So know that if hidden geometry is connected to, to um, unhidden geometry, it it can be affected because it's sharing points. So that's something that, that throws some people off. I'm going to go ahead and uh, unhide. Okay. And the other thing to remember is uh, I've caught myself hiding geometry, like selecting, selecting some geometry and then hiding it and then working along and then I decide to uh, copy and paste and now I'm going to unhide and there's no arm okay because when you do a copy and paste it copies everything that's selected and you think well nothing selected so it's going to get everything the problem is it didn't get this let me unhide it didn't get this because you couldn't select it therefore it wasn't part of the selection when you copied and pasted okay so what I usually do before I do any massive copying and pasting or uh, any any crazy type of manipulation to the geometry, say like knifing or uh, mirroring or anything like that, I make sure that I've got everything visible. Uh, you know, I, I just come over and either use the shortcut key or just use unhide to make sure that I have everything um, and, uh, and I don't end up forgetting about hidden geometry. So you'll want to make sure that you keep up with what geometry is hidden and what's not uh, hidden. Uh, if this setup um, doesn't work for you. Remember you can always break things into various layers and then just select the layer that you want to work on uh, and it kind of works the same way as hiding and unhiding just by um, you know viewing the layer either putting the layer in the foreground or background or just putting it in the foreground. So if I wanted to just work on um, say the, the, the base here I'm gonna cut it, paste it, and then I could just shift click both layers and be working this way or go nope I just want to focus on this come in here do some tweaks 
shift click, and then when I'm done, I can always cut and paste it all in one layer. So there's a couple ways of hiding geometry um, so that you can only work on the areas that are visible using the view options down here or just by working in, in multiple layers.